Is your game always lagging even with a decent PC and good specs? If your connection feels choppy, your ping spikes, or your shots just don't register right in-game, it might not be your PC. It could be your network. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through a full network optimization guide. By the end, you'll know exactly how to squeeze the best performance out of your connection, from the hardware in your home to the settings in your system. Disclaimer before we begin. This video covers a wide range of optimization steps, but please note, results may vary depending on your system, your network setup, and your location. Not everything here is guaranteed to work for everyone, and you use these tips at your own risk. Part 1. The Importance of Using Ethernet Let's start with the basics. If you're gaming on Wi-Fi, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage, especially in fast-paced online games. Wi-Fi is inherently unstable and prone to interference. So first things first, get on Ethernet, here are your options. Run an Ethernet cable directly to your PC, move your router closer to your gaming setup, use a power line adapter. A power line adapter sends internet signals through the electrical wiring in your home. You plug one unit near your router and another near your PC. It can be an excellent option if your house has decent wiring. Also, don't confuse Wi-Fi extenders with Ethernet. If you're plugging into an extender, you're still relying on Wi-Fi as your source. That's not a true wired connection. Part 2. Updating your network adapter driver In this step, we're going to ensure that your Ethernet adapter is running with the latest and most stable driver. To do this, we'll use a reliable and completely free tool called Snappy Driver Installer Origin SDIO. This utility is well known in the tech community for safely finding and updating only the drivers your system truly needs without bundled software or unnecessary extras. Follow these steps carefully. Download Snappy Driver Installer Origin. Visit the official website or a trusted source to download the latest version of SDIO. Make sure you choose the Origin version, which is open source and safe to use. Extract the downloaded file. Once the download finishes, extract the contents using a tool like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Right-click the archive and choose Extract a Folder to make things easier. Launch the installer in the extracted folder. Locate and run the file named sdio underscore auto.bat. Important, do not run the .exe file. Using the .bat ensures the tool operates in the correct mode for driver scanning. Accept the prompt and wait for sdio to load. Windows might show a security prompt. Click yes to proceed. Allow the application a moment to fully load. It may take some time, depending on your system. Download driver indexes only. Once SDIO opens, you'll see a button that says, Download Indexes Only. Click this. This action allows the app to fetch an updated list of all possible drivers without downloading large files right away. Check your network adapter name while SDIO is gathering system data. Open Task Manager by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus ESC. Go to the Performance tab, then click Ethernet on the left. Here, you'll see the exact name of your network adapter. For example, it might say something like Realtek PCIe GBE Family Controller. Find that adapter in SDIO's list. Return to the SDIO window and look through the list of suggested driver updates. Locate the one that matches the name of your Ethernet adapter exactly. Install the updated driver. Click Install next to your adapter's name. SDIO will begin updating the driver. During this process, your internet connection may temporarily disconnect. That's completely normal, don't worry. Finish up. After the driver has been installed successfully, SDIO will let you know. Simply close the application, and your system should now be running the latest driver for your Ethernet adapter. Part 3. Optimizing the network adapter in Windows. Now that your Ethernet driver is updated, it's time to fine-tune your adapter settings for better performance and stability. We'll go through some advanced configuration options that can help reduce latency, prevent connection drops, and improve overall network responsiveness. Here's how to do it. Step by step, open Device Manager. You can do this by right-clicking the Start button and selecting Device Manager from the list. Expand the Network Adapters section. Find your Ethernet adapter from the list. It will usually include a name like Intel, Realtek. Double-click on your Ethernet adapter. This opens the Properties window for that device. Go to the Power Management tab. Once you're there, uncheck every box you see. This prevents Windows from turning off your network adapter to save power, which can sometimes cause connectivity issues. Switch to the Advanced tab. 
This is where you can tweak the adapter's performance settings. Below is a list of recommended values for common settings. Not all options may appear on your device, but apply these wherever available. Recommended network adapter settings. Set energy efficient ethernet to disabled. Set flow control to disabled. Set interrupt moderation to disabled. Set large send offload, both version one and version two to disabled. Set receive buffers to the maximum value available. For example, 1024 if you're using an Intel adapter. Set transmit buffers to the maximum value available matching your receive buffers. Set speed and duplex to auto negotiation, unless your connection is limited. Set IPv4 checksum offload and IPv6 checksum offload to disabled. Set TCP checksum offload and UDP checksum offload to disabled. Set priority and VLAN to priority enabled. Set receive side scaling to enabled. Set Wake On Magic Packet to Disabled. If your Ethernet adapter seems capped at 100 megabits per second, try manually setting speed and duplex to 1.0 gigabits per second, full duplex. Also, make sure your Ethernet cable is rated CAT6 or better. Older or damaged cables can limit speed. Finally, check that your router or switch supports gigabit ports to get the full benefit of these settings. Once all changes are made, Click OK to apply them. You might briefly lose your connection as the adapter resets. This is expected. After a few seconds, your connection will return, now with optimized settings. Part four, disabling unnecessary protocols. In this step, we'll clean up your network configuration by turning off any unused or outdated protocols. These extra protocols can slow things down or even introduce security risks, so it's best to disable them unless they're absolutely needed. Follow these steps. This will take you to the main Windows settings page for managing your network. Click on Change Adapter Options. This opens a list of all available network connections on your system. Right-click your Ethernet connection and select Properties. You'll now see a window showing all the protocols and services currently active on your adapter. Uncheck everything except one important item. The only box that should remain checked is Internet Protocol Version 4 TCP IPv4. Uncheck services like file and printer sharing, QoS packet scheduler, and anything else not required. Click on Internet Protocol Version 4, TCP IPv4. Once to highlight it, then click the Properties button. In the new window, click the Advanced button. Switch to the Wins tab. Under NetBIOS settings, select Disable NetBIOS over TCP IP. This helps prevent unnecessary traffic on your network and slightly improves performance. Click OK on each window to apply the changes. Close out of all network property windows when you're done. Bonus! What about packet loss? Packet loss is usually a hardware or wiring issue. If you're getting packet loss, call your ISP and report it. Ask for a line check or have them send a technician. Replace any damaged cables. Avoid using old splitters or coax lines. Make sure your modem and router aren't overheating. Wi-Fi users often see packet loss because of signal interference. If you're on Wi-Fi and experiencing this, switch to Ethernet. If this guide helped lower your ping, reduce input delay, or just made your online games feel smoother, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear what worked for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.